my channel it's emily here and today i'm back with another video in today's video i'm basically just gonna be getting ready i just got out the shower and i brushed my hair so i literally look such a mess right now um yeah that's pretty much it for that's what we're gonna do but while i'm gonna be getting ready i'm gonna be spilling some like life tea that i have because i don't know i just feel like why not i would just make it more interesting guys but what i'm gonna be getting ready for is wait did i tell you guys i'm gonna be getting ready for a quince so i'm going to a quince tonight and i don't even i don't i don't want to say i don't yeah because i don't know the girl so i don't know the girls who whose quince i'm going to but my cousin does and then my best friend is going um you, i think i've seen him before chris my best friend Chris is going, and then his cousin is going, and they're all like, oh, Nalia, come. So then I was like, okay. But I don't know. I haven't went to a quince in a while, and the quince that I did go to recently was, like, somebody that I knew. And, well, I didn't, I don't want to say I didn't know her because I didn't really know her either, but my family did. So I went to hers, and, I mean, that was pretty fun. So I hope tonight is another fun night, guys. But yeah, guys, so I don't really know her, but I hope everything goes well. And, you know, we're having fun and all types of stuff. So, guys, my life has been okay. I Honestly, I feel like I've just been keeping to myself. Like I said, like, I don't really go out anymore. So because I don't go out anymore, I've just been like home like by myself not really texting anybody but school's about to start back up so i feel like i should get back on that to like trying to make friends and stuff because like i feel like school's best whenever you have like friends but also it's best when you're on your own so you can like focus on like act like school work all of that so i feel like i'm more like in between like the friends i'm gonna make i'm gonna make sure that they're like you know like my like real friends because i hate like having friends that i that are like fake and like have issues with and all of that. So I just hope that the school year goes well and everything's like, you know, well, you know, I'm manifesting a good school year. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna throw my hair up real quick because I don't like how it's just sitting out like that. Actually, I'm gonna grab a clip. Okay, so I threw my hair up in a clip. Wow, it looks even worse. That's actually crazy. Okay, guys. So back to what I was saying. So I'm basically just manifesting like a good school year, hoping that everything goes well. I don't have any issues. Anyway, guys, so back to what I was saying. Yeah, so I just hope this is a good school year because I mean, last school year was pretty decent, but it wasn't like all of that that I was hoping for. So I hope this is better. Anyways, guys, and my love life, my love life has been okay. It's been, you know, decent. Last night I went to the fair, guys, and I saw, I'm pretty sure I saw my ex there. And I don't know if you guys, okay, so I'm gonna fill you guys all up in because I never told you guys, like, about my ex, what happened with him. I, I don't think I've ever told you guys, like, anything like that. And I feel like we're far, like, we're far enough along, like, after the relationship. Like, of course, like, once you, like, moved on and all of that, like, you shouldn't be talking about it, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, like, at this point, like, I'm so far along, like, like, it's almost going to be a year. Well, actually, it's been a year since me and him dated. But next month, no, this month, at the end of this month, is going to be a year of when we broke up. So, like, our whole entire relationship. So, it's been, like, a year. So, at this point, we're, it's, like, at the point where, like, I don't even care about the relationship that much to, like, that, like, even when I tell you guys, when I tell you guys, like, what happened, and I'm still bringing it up, like, I don't even care, because it's not that serious, you know, because the relationship wasn't that serious. So, uh, I don't mean that in a bad, okay, okay, if anybody, if, if anybody, okay, I'm not even gonna say So, if you, if you guys are picking up what I'm putting down, so, like, at this point, like, when I tell you guys, like, I'm not saying it in, like, a oh like i'm worried about it type of way like you know i'm saying it in like i don't care type of way like i don't care that much about the past that like i'm being able to say it to you guys okay so i'm gonna tell you guys about my little ex relationship so guys in that relationship me and him okay it was at the beginning of eighth grade that was like my first ever boyfriend but he was like my first ever boyfriend because i didn't really have a relationship before that I did have like a little like talking stage before that though like I was I did talk to someone before and um me and that person before that relationship talked for like two years 
but we never dated because I was too young to date. But like my parents knew him. My parents knew like he was a good guy. My my parents actually liked him, but they like looked at him like as one of my friends because he was one of my friends. But like me and him like liked each other and we knew that we liked. Sorry, I look like a clown right now. I'm gonna tell you guys the story once I'm done playing this all out. Okay, guys, now I look like a freaking ghost. But back to my conversation, what I was saying was, okay, so me and him, we're going to have a code name for him. We're going to call him, oh shoot, there's something in my We're going to call him soccer because that was what he, he played, guys. So, um, so me and soccer, we like, I don't know, we liked each other, but at the same time, like, I don't think I was ready for a relationship. He was ready for a relationship, but he was also older than me. He was a year older than me, guys, so we started liking each other when I was in 6th grade. He was in 7th grade. And then when I got to 7th grade, he was in 8th grade, but that's when we started like, oh, like, I like you, you know? So, um, yeah, guys, so he was in 8th grade, I was in 7th grade. I wasn't ready for a relationship, he was ready for a relationship, but I, I just, yeah, I don't know what happened, guys. But me and him like talked for like two years like the whole sixth grade seventh grade and he like i said he was ready to move into something more bigger and i wasn't guys so but he was like genuinely like the nice okay i don't say okay he, i don't want to say the nicest guy i talked to because there was a couple times where i was like okay like okay but he was like a, he was a nice guy like while it lasted he was a really nice guy and he like, my parents liked him, my siblings liked him, my family liked him. Like, it was just like a, like, you know, like one of those aw um, moments. But I feel like it was more like a right person wrong time. So then I got, so I don't really count that as a relationship because, okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Me and him date, did date, but we dated for like two weeks. But we talked for two years, but we dated for like two weeks because at that point we both realized, like, this is going to work out. Like, if you're not going to like act ready for relationship like i don't like it was my fault i'm not even lying because i wasn't ready like i said so i wasn't acting like a girlfriend and he was trying to like act like a boyfriend and i wasn't going guys so um yeah it was my fault so that's why i'm like i don't really count that as in relationship so i don't really count him as an ex or anything like that so i would say i have one ex and that one ex is this one ex that i'm gonna talk about that you guys kind of knew that i had a boyfriend but like i never really told you guys or showed you guys him yeah guys so him we're gonna call him i don't know i don't want to call him football because i never really seen him play football so we're gonna call him puerto rican because he was puerto rican guys and let me tell you guys let me see you guys that i just i don't think that i would ever date a puerto rican again <laughs> okay guys so what you guys hear about puerto ricans is freaking right so back to what i was saying um him puerto rican me and him i went to eighth grade i went to a new school so i went to this one school like my whole entire life like this school that i went to i was there from first grade all the way up into seventh grade so i was there for seven years and then one day my family just decided to like switch me for eighth grade before i start high school so I get the feeling of like a real middle school because that school that I was in, it was more like a, like a baby school. Like there was little kids there and like the walls were like all colorful. Like it was almost like, like I was still a little kid, you know, like I didn't get the real feeling of like switching classes or anything because in that school we like stayed with the same class and like, you know, still in middle school. So I'm almost like, okay, I'm gonna switch it to a regular middle school. So you could get the feeling before you go to high school so you're not like completely lost in everything. And I was like, okay. So I went to a different school for eighth grade, guys. And I guess he, before I went to, no, it wasn't before. So I, I switched and like the first couple of weeks that I was there, he had got into a fight. Puerto Rican had got into a fight and got sent to The first week that I was there, Puerto Rican had got into a fight and he got sent to somewhere else well like to a different school for like three months i would say he got sent for three months and then so i was just living my life for the three months like i didn't really know him like that i was kind of just like oh somebody was just like oh somebody got in a fight and i was like oh for real? like that was like the only conversation that i've ever had about him like in between those like you know 
the time I was there. So then he came back after those three months, right? And at that point, I I had my eye on somebody. I was already like trying to mess with somebody. But then he came back and I was like, oh, I told my friend, I was like, hey, he's kind of cute, you know? He's kind of cute. Mind you guys, we were, I don't know why I was over here calling people cute because everybody still had a mask on because it was still like matte, like, you know? So I had no right to be out here like, oh my gosh, they're cute because there was a couple of people I remember when I went to eighth grade and I was like, oh my gosh, they're cute. And I took their mask off and I was like, but anyways, guys, so, but that wasn't really like the case here. Like I, I was just saying like, that's what I was just saying. Like, yeah, like, I don't know why I was out here trying to get in a relationship in eighth grade, you know, but, um, so I told my friend, I was like, oh, he's cute. Like put me on, you know? And then she was like, okay, I'll put you on. And then she told him, and he was like, oh, she's cute, like, put me on, and nah, 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 nah. So, we basically, like, started talking, chatting it up, you know. You know, we were flirting, and then I ended up getting grounded that same week that we got put on with each other. So, my mom grounded me for two weeks, actually. So, I remember, like, I was in my little butterfly love phase. I was over here texting him on my Apple Watch. Like, you know, like, it was, like, all crazy. Like, I was down bad guy. Like, we were basically like coupling, you know, we were coupling and it wasn't bad. Like it was like my first, like, I don't want to say real relationship because I don't want to, it wasn't real guys. It wasn't real. Like me and him barely hung out. We barely, I don't want to say a real relationship because I've never been in a real relationship. So it was a relation. It was a middle school relationship. That's what it was. It was a middle school relationship. So, you know, we were just like texting. We were, you know, you know just chatting it up guys and then summer came yeah some yeah summer came summer came and he was going to a whole different high school than i was so summer came and you know we were still we were hanging out a little bit not too much though guys because i don't know i might like i just i don't know i feel weird bringing people around my family so we were hanging out a little bit he met my mom he met my dad like, you know, everything was cool. He met my siblings. Um, I met his siblings. We were just kind of like, you know, being that couple, you know? And then comes July, guys. I remember the exact same month. Comes July. I got a text. And I was like, oh! It was a hey girly text. It, it literally said, hey girly. And it was like, Oh, hey, girly. I wonder if I could put the message. You know what? I'm going to put the message up here if I still have it, guys. It was a hey, girly text. And she was basically telling me, like, hey, girly, like, I I think it was because it was National's Girlfriend's Day or something like that. And he had posted me. Or no, it was something. He had posted me. And she was like, hey, girly. Um, or Puerto Rican has been texting me. Or he did text me before. No, 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 no. Okay, oh, my gosh. I don't know why. I'm literally messing up. She was like, Hey, girly, so, so I saw that Puerto Rican had posted you. She was like, how long have you guys been dating? And I was like, oh, me and him have been dating since May. And then um, she was like, oh, she was like, oh, well, this is going to be hard to, like, tell you. And I was like, oh, really? So then she kept going on, and I was like, like, you know, it's okay. Like, tell me, you know? Like, don't be, don't be shy, guys. Don't be shy. So then she was like, um, so basically, he texted me in June. It was June. So me and him started dating in May. He basically cheated on me the, the, the month after me and him started dating. But during that month, after school ended, he out went where he went when he got in trouble for that fight because that's where, like, his family lives. So he went back out there for, like, a vacation, you know? It's like his cousins, his friends, everybody out there. So whatever, he was down there. Me and him were like FaceTiming every night, you know. And it was kind of, it was almost like long distance. But I was like, whatever, it's cool, you know. He's with his family. So she was like, hey, she was like, so when he had, when he was down here, me and him got to like talking. And I guess I heard, from what I heard, they were only talking for like two days. That's what he had told me. But I guess he, I guess. He was texting her and talking to her like, oh, like, you fine, like, you should, like, me and you should take it farther than being friends, and na 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 and we should get closer, and, like, I, I saw screenshots, you know? So then I was like, 
I was like, oh, is that right? So I text him. I'm pretty sure I was at my cousin's house, I think, guys. Oh, so I was at my cousin's house and I text him and I was like, like I was like I was like bro you're so weird I'm done with you like I was like going on guys I was literally going off and he was like he's not gonna leave it wasn't even like that like like he basically tried to tell me he told me that he got dared to do what he like did was texting her he got dared by his cousin he got his his cousin dared him to pull her or something like that and was like you won't and he was like oh I won't like and he did it so then I was still kind of like, I was still like, that's no excuse. Like, you have a girlfriend. Like, either way, what you did was wrong, you know? And then, um, he was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, he, like, like was apologizing and stuff like that, guys. So then after that, me and him didn't talk for, like, this is embarrassing, guys. Me and him didn't talk for, like, a week, okay? And I went back. I went back guys because honestly who knows why I went back I think I went back because he's like my first relationship so I was kind of like and I'm the type of person to be like oh like you know like I don't know maybe it was a mistake <laughs> so I went back guys I don't want to talk about it and then after that me and him got back together you know we were like lovey dovey y'all of that whatever and then I broke up with him actually like a couple weeks after that because at that point like I was like okay I don't want to say at that point but like I at the time I was very like stressed out and like I had a lot going on guys and I just needed like I feel like I needed time by myself because I feel like after me and him had um broke up or like for the first time he like he was after we got back together he was like Oh, oh no guys we actually broke up like no because when we first started dating we broke up like two weeks after we started dating for some reason oh it was because of this one girl before we started dating and she was already a problem and then after we started dating she was a problem so because me and him were talk me and him talked for like a month we talked the whole entire april we started dating may but the whole entire april this one girl like was a problem in our relationship and now that I look back, I was, I was, I've been thinking to myself, like, why was she a problem? Like, like, I let her be a problem in our relationship, but I don't want to talk about it, guys. So, um, what's it called? Basically, what I was saying is, we broke up, I want to say, like, four or five times in our whole entire six-month relationship. So, we were pretty toxic, guys, but, um... So the second time we broke up is that's the time I got the hey girly text. I was kind of like, like already like sad. So then we got back together. Then I broke up with him the third time because like I said, I just needed time for myself and like, you know, like mental health, whatever, 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 you know. So I broke up with him because I just felt like that was the right thing to do. We had got back together. And then after we got back together, I got a text and it was like, Oh no, after we got back together, me and him had went to a football game together because school, high school was starting up. I had went to a football game, for that was his school football game, and against my school because like I said, me and him went to different schools. So I went to that game and when I went to the game, he was like, we were sitting on my school side, okay? And like everybody knew that I was dating him because everyone that basically went to high school with us was already like... In eighth grade with us so everybody knew that me and him were like together and that we had like a relationship and stuff so um he's like oh no i don't know who off i don't know who told i either i was like oh let's go to your school side or he was like let's go to my school side i don't remember but um so we went to somehow we went to his school side and i remember seeing this girl and she like kind of looked at us and her and her friend looked at us and they were like like you could tell that like they, that like they looked at us like me and him were doing something wrong by being together. So like I already like had a feeling like what was going on, but I was just like whatever. Like I brushed it off. So then um, I got home from the football game, and I had got a text, and the text was like uh, basically another hey girly text. So the text basically was saying like hey like I just want to let you know like you're getting played and um I'm getting played and this other girl's getting played. 
by the same dude. And I was like, wow. Like, what? I was like genuinely so freaking confused because like at that point I was like, oh, so then I, t so then I got screenshots to him and this other girl together and then him and her, the girl that sent me the text messages, text messages. And then like, so basically I was like, like, I don't know what's going on, but okay. So then I basically text him and like told him like, yeah, like we're done, we're over. And like, I would want nothing to do with you anymore. And then, um, that was pretty much it guys of our relationship. And then after that, like, we didn't really keep in like contact, but like, I think that, I don't know, like, I would still get texts here and there, like, hey, Analia, like, you know, how have you been? Like, I miss you and stuff like that. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, I'm not going to act like I wasn't texting back. Like, I did text back. But, like, I didn't try to text him back on nothing, like, flirty. You know, like, I didn't try to text him back on, like, oh, like, let's get back together or anything like that. So, yeah, guys, even, I know I should have not been texting back, but I still was. I don't know what was the reason for that, guys, but I was just, I don't know. I think, I don't know why it was, I, w I wouldn't say that it was hard for me to get over him. Because it wasn't. Like, I, after me and him broke up, like, I took time for myself. Like, I was literally talking to, like, no guys for, like, a whole, like, two months. Like, I was literally talking to no guys. And, um... I was trying not to mess with anybody. I was focusing on myself. I was healing myself. So I think that's why I healed so fast. Because, like, I genuinely just, like, wanted to be on my own. You know, to, like, get, like, the full, like, healing feeling. And I did. Like, I healed pretty fast, if you would ask me, compared to other people and, like, how fast they healed. Like, I think I healed pretty fast. So, yeah, guys. And then after that, I got in a whole other freaking situation ship. That I don't want to talk about because I'm currently still in it. Well, I'm not in it, guys. But, like, I, me and him still have, like, something. I don't know what we have, guys. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. Because it's, like, like, I just don't like the fact that it's still going on. And it's been going on for almost a whole year. In September, it would hit a whole entire year. And it's, like, this, like, situationship that's, like, I don't know what it is. Like, it's not going nowhere. Nothing's happening. But it's still there. And it feels like a relationship. But it's not going anywhere. So, guys. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you guys will hear about the new situationship. In the, I mean, the situationship that's going on now. Maybe you guys will hear about it in the future. Because right now, I don't know if it's the right time to talk about it. So... Yeah, I will tell you guys about it more later. But that's really pretty much it about my ex, you know, guys. And that's the relationship that I was in. That's how it ended. That's how it happened. There was nothing really too crazy about it, you know. Just a regular generation relationship. What happens, you know. Like, that's that's literally what happened. That literally, that's literally like everybody's relationship nowadays, like getting a hate girly text and you know what i'm going to find the hate girly text to put it in here so i can show you guys but i'm gonna cover out her name of course but it's just so silly to me how i got two hate girly texts like what um i just want to let you guys know that i was joking about the situation ship now like okay me and him really don't have anything going on like we just like i don't want to say we're like there for each other but like like if something happens like i call him if something happens he calls me like it's like um i would say we're more like a friendship now like, we're like buds, guys. We're buds. And, I mean, we do flirt here and there, but that's pretty much it. And, and I'm actually, like, starting to move on. Like, me and him have not talked in a fat minute. And I'm actually starting to, like, adventure off. And I'm not even lying, guys. I've been adventuring off. Like, I already, like, had, like, okay. So, you know how, like I said, like, it's almost been a year since me and him have been, like, you know, chatting it up. And, like, you know, like you know talking to each other um in that whole year like i've been like you know like talking to other people he's been talking to other people but like somehow like what i mean is somehow we always end up like finding our way back and i i just think that like me and him are just not meant to be together i don't know why we keep finding our way back to each other because we both know that like us together is not good but at the same time it's like we're like I can't, I'm not going to speak for him, but, like, he's my comfort person, you know? 
and I feel like uh, that sounds so bad to say. I'm gonna quit talking, guys. But anyways, that's what happened with my last relationship, and I mean, this was nothing towards him. Like, no hate to him. Like, I hope that he's living his freaking best life and. I actually think I'm pretty sure I saw him at the fair yesterday, but whatever. Me and him had made eye contact, but it was nothing, like, too serious because, like, you know, like, I moved on, he moved on, like, I hope that we're both on to bigger and better things. Um, what? There's something else that happened. Oh, there's, so, he had, like, texted me. I would say, like, when did he text me? He had texted me back in, like... Jan, no, say like May. He had texted me in like May, okay, and um, or like May or like the beginning of June. And during that time, he I guess he was supposed to be talking to this one girl that goes to my school, but he went to a whole different school, so he's like talking to that one girl. But he had texted me, he was like basically telling me, like, go on a late bin, like what's been going on how's your siblings like you know like i still think about you but like it wasn't like a oh like i want you back i still think about you no it was more like a you know like i don't know like i had told somebody about it at school the next day and they had told the girl that he was talking to and i mean i'm not even lying like i didn't care because like i mean she deserves to know you know because I don't want it to be like, you know, it like, it be, I don't know. Okay, so I didn't really care that she knew because, like, I barely, like, I wasn't really, like, chatting it back. And plus, I didn't know that he was talking to her at the same time. Like, I literally did not know, like, when I was texting him back, I didn't know that he had something going on with her until I told someone the next day and they were like, oh, he's messing with, what's her name? And I was like, oh, like, I didn't know that. So then, um, she had found out, and then I guess she, like, text, no, she texted him, like, oh, you were telling Analia this and that, and then he was, like, no, I, like, I didn't mean that in that type of way, so then she had texted me and was, like, hey, girl, like, I heard that he was texting you, like, and I know what he was saying, because what he's telling me, like, he didn't say that, so I, I sent her our messages, because, like, there was nothing for me to hide, you know, I didn't know that they were talking, they were, you know, and I wasn't really, we weren't really saying anything flirty except, like, the couple things that he said. Like, oh, like, you know, I still have, I will always have love for you, blah, blah. But that's pretty much it. So then I showed her it, and then she was like, oh, thank you. And then he had texted me, guys. He had texted me, like, like, oh, like, why are you out here telling her stuff? Like, you're trying to break my relationship up. Like, I thought you moved on, this and that, that and this. And I'm not even gonna lie, that kind of, that kind of like, flabbergasted me, because like, first of all, you're the one who texts me, and you thought I moved on, like, how are you gonna be over here like, oh, I thought you moved on, but then you're over here texting me first, like, boy, like, I, w I was in the middle of a freaky situation, like, like, oh, you're trying to ruin my relationship, like, boy, I could care less about your relationship, to be honest, my own thing going on, you know, so, that was, I think that was the last time I heard from him. Oh, no, that actually wasn't. He texted me um, just a little, not a little bit ago, but, like, I would say a couple weeks ago. Like, oh, he texted me my name. He was, like, on Aaliyah, and I never responded back. And then he texted me and was like, hey, and I never responded back because, you know, just in case he's in a relationship, I don't want to mess it up. You know, like he said, I'm, I'm. I'm moving on or I'm I'm moved on if that's what make if that makes sense cuz I'm not trying to be out here like messing your relationship up you know so yeah guys that's pretty much it but like I said all love me and him have nothing against each other he got so he has going or I hope he has nothing against me he got so he got going on like I said I think I saw him at the fair last night but he was with a group of his friends, and I was with this one dude. But I wasn't with this one dude, but me and this one dude were, like, talking. And then I just, like, glanced over, made eye contact. And then after that, I was just like, you know, like, I, I turned I turned the... That's the last time me and him have ever associated. And it's about to be a year. So, like I said, I promise you, if anybody that associates with him or if he's watching this video, I do not care about our relationship 
so i'm not saying this video to break anything up to mess anything up to bother anything that you have going on with your life this is just for content reasons this is just to keep my followers updated on my life because that's what i do because i just love my followers so much so um yeah so this is this video is nothing to bring drama this video is nothing to I don't know, how, how do I explain it? Like, this video is not supposed to be drama. It's just supposed to be all laughs and giggles. And I hope it, you guys take it as laughs and giggles too because it was nothing serious, you know? So, yeah, guys. Back to my get ready with me. I'm basically done with my makeup. I will see you guys in a bit whenever I'm drying my hair. I'm gonna set you guys. Oh my gosh, my lighting is literally so bad except in my bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna just set you guys here then. Set you guys here. I'm gonna block off the light, but let me show you guys this. Okay, so my hair is straight. So my hair is straight. My makeup is done. I'm gonna be wearing my jacket, my area jacket. And then um, I have this white crop top on. And I have my belt and then my black pants. And I'm going to, which I'm going to wear my uh, brown botas because it goes with my brown belt. So that's my outfit for the pizza, guys. And um, that was pretty much it for my get ready with me and my little tea spill time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share your post notification bell. I'll see you guys on my next video.